Hey guys, so here is a tutorial on how I do my flash and shake on my edits because someone asked me in a comment how I do that, so I'm gonna do it. The app you need is CapCut, and here's an example on what I mean by shake and flash. So that's what I mean by flash and shake, so let's get right into the tutorial. Alright, so first thing you do is open CapCut and create a new project so that you can import your clip. Now that you've selected your clip, what you want to do is you want to resize it and cut out any parts that you don't want in your clip. Also remember to remove the CapCut watermark. Next you're going to go into sounds and you're going to select extracted and you're going to extract a sound from your camera roll that you may have um, screen recorded. After you found the sound that you want to use, you just want to add it onto your clip. So now you can edit your audio if you want, so like cut out some parts or whatever you want to do to it. Now you're going to listen to your sound and you're going to split it at wherever the beat drops. So when the beat drops, you just want to make a split, you know, on the sound. What I did here is just since my clip was too short, I just tapped on my previous clip and I just um, copied it so that I made it longer. And I just edited it so that it looked like it wasn't the same clip. Now you want to split the clip in wherever place you split the audio as well. So like if you split it where the beat dropped, then you're going to split the clip in the same place. Now you're going to tap in overlay and then add overlay and you're going to move on to stock videos and you're going to scroll all the way down until you see the white square. Next, you just want to add it into your video and then resize it so that it covers the full screen. Next, you're going to click on splice and you're going to select overlay. Now what you need to do is just resize it and I recommend doing it from 0.3 seconds to 0.5 seconds since that's what I usually do. And just try to make it so that the half of the clip is like in between. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, just do what I did here. Then you're going to tap on the overlay and you're going to select on animation and then out and then select the one that says fade out. Alright, so now we're moving on to the shake. So what you want to do is you want to go and find where it says effects on the bottom and you're going to tap on effects. Once you're in effects, you're going to go ahead and change it from trending to basic and you're going to find where it says shake and you're just going to add it in and now you're going to resize it so that it's about the same size as the white square overlay that we added. As you can see, that's what it looks like. So now I'm just repeating the same process on every time the beat dropped. So you can just um, slow it down if you need to, but I'm just going to speed it up so that it doesn't take that long. Alright, so this is what it ended up looking like. I really don't know why. It's a big deal though. <laughs>